Hey, I'm Charlie. And I'm Dan from Jars of Clay. And you can hear it all at hearitfirst.com. We've been home quite a bit because it's taken us really about a year to, to write and get into this album. And um, it's just, and we had been off the road, I guess, a good bit, mm -hmm. kind of here and there. So I've been home a lot more. And it just means we've been able to invest in our communities at home and really get to know people and, and know their stories. And, and um, you know, there's a lot of people around us that their marriages are failing and they're, they're really struggling to know how to to handle disappointments in their lives and you know there's people that are you know, confessing you know stupid choices within the context of a marriage and um, you know, affairs and all this kind of stuff is going on in our communities and um, I mean because we're, we're all human and um, you know and there's nothing I think more inspiring than when people kind of reach that point where where they finally kind of have to go, I can't fix this. You know, I have to trust in something bigger than myself. And and people are doing that around all around us in our communities. And so it just made for, um, you know, there's a really amazing sense of vulnerability in the communities. And so we're, we're learning stuff about people. And it's all, like, swirling around. And so this is the season that we're in when we're trying to write this new record. So it really affected what we were doing and is what... What we ended up, why we made the record we made, because we started out at one point going, okay, let's let's really tackle social justice again, and let's keep making these big mm -hmm. declarations because we feel like it. I mean, it really worked with Good Monsters, and we were really feeling it. And we started doing it, and it just um, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel like the right kind of record to make. It felt like we were, even though we were talking about good things, we weren't really being honest with ourselves. It's sort of like the elephant in the room was all these relationships and it's like hey write about me write about me and we're like no we're going to tackle oh Africa yeah. and so you know so it just felt like to, to do that would have been to completely like lob off a big part of our of our humanity in the sense so um, so yeah so it, the community really kind of very much dictated what was inspiring us and, and what we were going to end up writing about and there's there's moments too you know there's that's definitely one <clears throat> end of the spectrum of this record. And then there's also there's a song about <clears throat> raising boys and being parents and you know what, what, what we're learning. We want to give tools and sort of equip our sons to be confident that they have, they have what it takes um, and help them discern and ask questions as they grow up and kind of um, discover strange, dark things about the world we live in. And, um, that's been a really important song for us, and there's some really light moments on the record too. Um, so I feel like it's sort of this spectrum when you talk about relationships and love, and, and we keep talking about the work of love. You know, many days it's you might not be feeling it. It's a choice. It's a fight. You're fighting for love, um, and it's it's the worthiest of of things to fight for. Yeah. Um, and it was, I think, once we sort of maybe gave ourselves permission and tapped that, it was kind of like, it was, yeah. got a little easier to write about. Mm -hmm. And there were always, there were points throughout the process where, because it's not, we weren't using a lot of spiritual, lofty, um, religious content in the record. I mean, it's, you know, and, and I'm sure now that it's out, we'll have the conversation over and over and over with people in different places who will be like, you didn't. This song has nothing to do with faith and nothing to do with, with Jesus, and we'll have to kind of go. Well, um, you know, Jesus is most in the relationships we have with other people, and and the, and our faith is is defined and informed very much by the, the the way that we are, you know, iron sharpening iron for other people. And you know, there's, you know, but but in the context of writing the record, we were like, well, we're not writing a bunch of Christian radio pop songs right now that are going to be easily ingested that way. So. So it was scary at one point, and actually it was uh, Derek Webb came by the studio and and had this great conversation with me where he, he knew that I was kind of sort of having a hard second time. Guessing and, a little yeah, I was second-guessing the, the process we were in, and, and he just said, you have to re realize that, you know, your fans, your people have been listening to Jars of Clay for a while now, and and you've been in this conversation, and this is just part of the conversation. It's not the whole conversation. And every time you connect with another person, you don't bring up your entire life story, you know, 
it's a continuation of the conversation. Mm -hmm. um, and to remember that that really, we've, we've been afforded that because we've been able to make records and keep making records, which is an amazing gift. Um, but it was nice to be able to think about it that way and go, we don't have to tackle every area of spirituality, every area of the church, feel the weight to hit everything on one record because this is what's mattering to us right now. That would be a heavy record. <laughs> I think it would, yeah. Well, I think it would be a very, um, I, d I actually think it would be a record that would fail because I think people would, you'd try to do too much and in yeah. doing too much you wouldn't do any of it well. Yeah. So um, it feels like focusing on the specific things we chose to on this record was the right choice.